Now on CBS 12 News, the eyes of the nation fixed on this hot air balloon, believed to have a six-year-old boy on board. I'm hiding this because uh, my dad yelled at me. Why did he yell at you? I was planning to find softer. New tonight, we're hearing from that little boy himself about where he really was the whole time. And a local boy catches a flesh-eating fish where he caught this wild piranha. Plus, the new, cheaper alternative to Botox and how you can get it within days. CBS 12 News at 11 starts right now. Now, from your local news leader, covering Boca Raton, the Palm Beaches, and the Treasure Coast, this is CBS 12 News at 11. Good evening, everyone. I'm Liz Quirantos. And I'm Eric Ruby in for Kurt Fonger. He's only six, but he sparked a rescue effort that kept most of the nation glued to their TV sets, watching a runaway balloon and the kid who might be on board. Turns out that little six-year-old boy was hiding in the family's attic the entire time. CBS 12's Juan Carlos Von Hula is here live now with new information tonight. Juan Carlos. Well, Liz, it was a bizarre rescue effort that had people riveted all day today. For hours, people thought a little boy was in that balloon right there floating in the Denver area. Turns out he was home the entire time. A five-hour rescue operation unlike any authorities have ever seen before came to an end Thursday afternoon when investigators in Fort Collins, Colorado discovered six-year-old Falcon Heaney hiding in a box in the attic of his family's garage. How to feel to see my son again? This is a relief. Uh, we're going to watch him a lot closer. Authorities scrambling to figure out a rescue plan after Falcon's family reported he may have floated away in this experimental helium filled aircraft his father had been building in the backyard. His brother said he saw Falcon climb into a box attached to the aircraft. He was very adamant. They, they interviewed him multiple times, uh, and that was his consistent story. He just touched the ground. After about two hours, the UFO-shaped device finally grounded itself, but Falcon was not inside. As it turns out, the six-year-old was home the whole time. I didn't want to come out really soon, or else he would yell at me and probably get in trouble. The Heaney family has been in the spotlight before, appearing on the reality show Wife Swap, and Father Richard Heaney is an avid storm chaser who often takes his son on expeditions. Authorities say they have no reason to doubt the family, who may have just endured their biggest adventure yet. Now in all, the balloon traveled some 50 miles, traveling at 25 miles per hour. As it was carried by the wind, experts speculate the boy could have been killed if there was a hard landing, had he been in that balloon. Eric. Well, Carlos, thank you. Well, new information tonight about a very close call for a pickup truck driver. Sky 12 over the scene earlier today of this accident on the B line near the JW Corbett Wildlife Area. Now, an Amtrak train hit the truck. That truck